You are watching WPTV, award-winning college television. Welcome back to the desk. I'm actually sitting here. I don't know who let Trevor Noah into William Patterson. It's kind of kind of a crazy ongoing thing here. But I'm happy to be back with you guys, talk some WP baseball and softball. Here with me today, I am Jimmy Patton, in case anyone forgot. Font Leak, Mickey Mouse Show. Mickey, Obama, meh. Mickey Mouse. Mid. Andrew Balistrieri, Anthony Walker, Andrew Gavin, Mark Brandt. You know, Balistrieri, the Go softball on. team continues to roll. Absolutely dominating competition. Dominated Drew. You got some highlights for us? Of course, man. Pioneers, we're rolling once again. We will take a look at these highlights. In this one, game one, we got a great sliding stop by Carly McDaniel playing short in these games, as well as, there we go, a nice little rip right into the outfield by graduate student Jasmine Vera. And then one batter later, up comes Caitlin Monahan and nukes a ball to deep center field all the way to the trees. A grand slam for Caitlin Monahan, her first home run of the season. We were hyped. Her teammates were hyped. It was a great, great moment. Great game. Pioneers win that one 9-1. to We'll take it to the second game. Gianna Mulatto cranking this one over to the wall and uh, getting a nice little stand-up double and going to bring that run home. Pioneers had another good game, and right here we see Grace Gaskill going to boom this one all the way deep to the wall, and that one she's going to get a stand-up double once again for herself. And then later on in that game, Kylie Bythrow, me and Gavin, we thought this ball was gone, hits the top of the fence for an RBI double. Great game for the Pioneers. And then finally, can't meet, leave out this play. Great play right there by Kylie Ortel, diving stop. Pioneers win. That one, 8-4, to four, 12 in a row for the Pioneers. 12 in a row, truly unbelievable. Mark, what has been a key for you? What have you seen from this run? I mean, it's been the offense, right? I mean, scoring run after run after run at will. I mean, that's the, that's the key. You know, you got to play. you got to hit well in order to keep, you know, 12 wins in a row is extremely impressive, and it's the offensive production that really drives it. Yeah, continue to hit some crankers. Yeah, crankers. <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, no, it was a great – these were a great two games all around. It was really good to see Caitlin Monaghan go, and, you know, she was someone that was trying to get off the schneid, and she did with that big grand slam, so hopefully that gets her going. How You know, we all know how important she was to the team last year. And also, I mentioned, Pioneers had to look out for a couple of players. One of those players was Bailey Como. They got to her on, on in the circle. Then they kept Molly O'Brien off the board as well. If they did th they did those things well, that's why they got these wins. Andrew? I mean, you guys are talking about the offense. We're going to talk about the pitching. Jalen Miller was four dominant innings, two strikeouts, and, you know, that's always going to win you games. And then, talking about uh, Bathros, hey, I thought that was gone. Me and, me and Bathros were going crazy. Sure that was gone. Yeah. No, that was absolutely a great performance in the doubleheader. Going to be looking to carry that performance into this weekend against Rowan. You know, Mark, it's going to be a tough matchup. Rowan's yeah. always at the top of the end, Jack. The Pioneers got a lot of stolen bases, a lot of extra base hits uh, against Drew. Can they carry that forward? I mean, you know, we want to take a look at the stats as they transfer into conference play here. Rowan, 17-3 and three on the year, 339 batting average, really impressive. OPS of 890, 252 ERA, 124 runs so far this season. William Patterson, comparable record, 13-1, 305 batting average, a little lower, but still very impressive, 825 OPS, 169 ERA, so the pitching is phenomenal. And the 97 runs, so you know you want to see the offensive production continue. That that's really what you want, and I, I do think that they match up pretty well against Rowan. Yeah, phenomenal ERAs for both sides, both well under a three. Yeah. Anthony, what are you going to see from this one? Yeah, this is where rubber meets the road. Uh, as Mark talked about, Rowan is very, very good. They are a top team in the end, Jack. And the Pioneers, you know, they came in, they won 12 in a row. This is where this is what it all boils down to: is these games against Rowan. Last year, Pioneers were outscored 16 to one, and they lost both their games against Rowan. They're going to try and get some redemption this weekend. Yeah, and if I believe I'm not mistaken, Rowan was their first matchup last year coming off the Florida trip in the end, Jack. So look to uh, fix fix that wrong from last year. And yeah, I mean, Rowan, once again, off to a great start. These guys put it perfectly. But both teams have some really hot bats right now. Haley Weinberger, Kylie Bythrow, they're hitting everything that they're seeing currently. And then, you know, you got to watch out on, on the Rowan side for Junior out of Pompton Plains, right in our neck of the woods, Kat Thomas. She has four home runs already. This is the first Pioneers big test right here. And Jack play, it's a different beast. We all know that. They're in for a show this weekend. You yeah, know, this is probably their biggest test of the season, undoubtedly, to this point. It's only going to get tougher going down the road. Andrew, from one Andrew to another Andrew, talk to me about Rowan. Basically, this is going to be Goliath versus Goliath. 
to get the win, to get a sweep this week and go into NJAC play, that's going to elevate them even more to go 14 games in a row. Right now, they got to have offense early and they got to have shutdown defense. Yeah, no, definitely shutdown defense. That's something that, you know, early on in the season, we said that's going to be a key. They've been able to do that this, so far this season. Having clutch RBIs like they had against Drew throughout the game, helping out, uh, giving some run support to that pitching staff. But from the softball team to the baseball team, they're obviously playing well. Also, defending NJAC champions, as we all know, one player particularly of late who's had a hell of a week is Carson Weiss. Anthony, talking about his week. Yeah, we got some numbers on Carson Weiss, so we're going to take a look at them right now. But he's been here for a while, and he is an absolute monster. 441 average, a 1.106 OPS, 26 hits, two home runs, and two, counting two, walk-offs. Want a walk-off home run? Want a walk-off single in back-to-back -back games, back-to-back -back days, Thursday and Friday? And Weiss has been here for a while. He's a graduate student. And he always, is, he always leaves it all out on the field, and he's always a very good player as well. But it's easy to, to look at people like Steve Yellen and Dan Carter and Colin Lombardo as top guys in that office. Car, uh, in that offense, Carson Weiss is right there with him. Also, leaves everything out on the field as well. You see the plays he makes at first base; he is insane. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know how you don't love this guy. You know, I've, the amount of times he's, I've seen Carson Weiss Superman dive for a ball on the field is pretty incredible. Andrew Gavin. I mean, Carson Weiss has the clutch gene. He has ice water in his veins. He has having a fantastic season, off for one of the hottest starts of his career. I mean, that walk-off home run in the deep left field, it was impeccable. Mark? It was a cranker. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have? Yeah. All right. It was a cranker. <laughs> Andrew Ross, <laughs> <Rauschary. laughs> Yeah, man, I mean... Carson, he's been great this year. He's on fire. Um, you know, Walker touched on it a little bit. His glove is just phenomenal. Always has been, always will be. Had just one error last year, none so far this year. He had six home runs last year, two so far this year. I'm looking for that number to increase as we get deep into end jack play, hit a couple more crankers for the boys. You know, brilliant analysis from Mark Brandt as always. No, I mean, but if you want real, you know, breakdown, his, his leadership is really what drives the team. He's a, he's the heart of this team, and he makes some phenomenal plays defensively. He really is just an all-around great player. You know, it's easy for him to fall under the radar. We always we talk a lot about Colin Lombardo, yeah. Yellen, Dan Carter. I mean, this lineup is just so deep. Carson Weiss definitely making his presence felt. But the Pioneers, they're headed down to Rowan. Softball team's hosted Rowan. We're heading down to Rowan. Going to be a big-time matchup. They're also always the top of the end jack for baseball. But, you know, Andrew Gavin, what are we going to see from this matchup? This is a real test for the Pioneers. This is a big end jack matchup. And as we take a look here at the numbers, the Pioneers, they're 10-5. and five. Rowan's 13-4. and four. And the ERA for the Pioneers is up there. And the ERA for Rowan is really low. And Zach Green for Rowan has a sub-2 ERA in five games. We've got to watch out for Tyler Cannon and Ryan Murphy on the offensive side. The Pioneers need to come ready to play against Rowan and prove why they should have been ranked to start the season. Yeah, Mark, what are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, Rowan always so good, but you want to see the ERA kind of drop in these games. You want to see the pitching get going for, for the Pioneers here and really, you know, get to Rowan at the bats. You know, it's going to be interesting to see who on the staff is going to be able to step up for in this game, whether it's a Matt Lawler, yeah. or whether it's a Riley Weiss, you know. Andrew Balsheri, what are you going to see from this one? I mean, Rowan, man, they're, they're ranked number 10 in the country right now, so they're, they're pretty good. And uh, a guy I want to highlight, Zach Grace, their pitcher, 34 strikeouts in 23 innings. He's been phenomenal. Other than him, though, when it comes to pitching, nobody else is really, you know, you know making too many great plays. And then on the batting side of things, they're un unbelievable. Not a single starter under batting under 300. It's, it's unbelievable. This is going to be a tough series. If Willie P can split this one, I think they go happy. Yeah, no, definitely, especially on the road, going to be a big-time test. Anthony, close this out. Yeah, no, Bally kind of hit it on the head with, with where I was going. This is a big test, not just for the Pioneers as a whole, but for the pitching staff. This is huge for them. Four players on the, on the uh, Rowan offense have, have uh, OPSs over 1,000. Tyler Cannon, Ryan Murphy, Phil Sedalis, Dylan Maria, all have, they're all starters, they all have OPSs over 1,000. They are very, very good hitters. That lineup is very, very deep. I mean, you're looking for a good outing right here from whoever throws, either whether that's Darmani Rivas, Ian Metzger, you're looking for a good six innings out of them. You know, and the, the Pioneers going to have a big target on their back all season long. You kind of get that championship that's going to, team, teams are going to come hunting for you. And Rowan definitely does not have the showing that they wanted last year in the NJAC tournament. But that's all we have here for Pioneer softball and baseball. As they enter the heart of their NJAC journey, the MLB just had opening day. Keep with us as Anthony and the guys break it down, everything across the league, only here on WPTV.